it's Bev again and in today's video I want to talk about deprivation dieting and you know there's many many different ways of doing that it means you're deprived what does it mean it's never sustainable you can't do it forever there's a problem with the way you're eating in terms of what you how your body reacts so examples are let's say you're eating less than a uh, thousand calories a day maybe you're doing one of those water fasting things for a few days um, maybe you're not eating any carbs or very few carbs anyway there's many many different ways of doing um, deprivation dieting and um, what does it do it all of those kinds of approaches to losing weight or losing fat force your body into um, what I call a starvation mode and it makes your metabolic rate much more inefficient and that means you're going to be not as good at burning calories and when you think of your metabolism really what that is for your body is your engine your body's engine and engines need fuel and for your body the fuel is caloric in nature you need calories as fuel and you need quality calories and you need all three macronutrients because they all follow different pathways and circuitries in your body because they all meet different needs right i've done videos on that so we'll assume that you're for this video you're cutting carbs or whatever you're doing one of these things and you're screwing your metabolism up but let's figure out how that happens so I'm just going to take simple numbers for this I'm going to take somebody who weighs 200 pounds and they go on some crazy starvation diet right they're in a hurry they're not at the gym they're not lifting weights they just want to lose this weight they're only interested in their scale weight so they go on one of these uh, deprivation uh, approaches and uh, and they manage to get themselves down to 150 pounds oh ho, ho, they're really happy right because they're only looking at the scale weight but frankly you can't continue to eat like this forever at some point you've got to start eating again right so they start eating again and lo and behold they're back up to the same weight 200 pounds and they're saying to the friends oh my god you know I'm back to 200 pounds I have to go on another diet I'm back to where I was and you know you're looking at this person you're thinking well, I don't think so they look a lot bigger than they did before they got to be weighing, weighing more than 200 pounds but in fact they're not they're not lying but what happened and why do they look so different at the same weight so let's talk about it when you're on a deprivation diet and you're not eating something and let's take carbs as an example your body needs glucose energy so it just begins to eat itself right it it's not getting glucose from anywhere else glucose is needed for energy uh, protein doesn't do that right it builds repairs muscles tissues bones whatever and fat makes and transports vitamins makes cell membranes it actually fights body fat you know they all have their different purposes but only glucose will give you that energy so how does it get it it begins to eat itself and does it eat fat yes does it eat muscle or you know the glycogen in the muscle yes so you will dump fat and you will dump muscle but on the way down on this deprivation diet you're going to lose a lot more here than you will the fat and why is that because muscle needs calories and your body it's not stupid it's like well wait a minute I'm not getting enough calories so why do I need all this muscle I may as well get rid of some of it then I won't need as many calories right it's only saving you now you begin to eat again do you gain fat yes do you get some muscle back sure why not but what has happened is you have made yourself your metabolism more inefficient so and you have less muscle so when you start eating again your body it doesn't need all those calories now because it doesn't have as much muscle for example so it's going to give you back more fat than muscle and the problem with more fat than muscle is that well first of all fat is a different tissue than muscle you can't change fat into muscle you can't change muscle into fat but 
one pound of fat does weigh the same as one pound of muscle. So if you have more fat than muscle here, you're going to be bulkier because fat is a much more bulky tissue than lean muscle tissue. So you're going to look different at this 200 pounds than over here because you have more fat. And that's why some people who weigh, you know, 130 and they're lean are the same weight on the scale as somebody 130 who's obese, you know, clinically obese, because this person has a lot of fat and this one doesn't, right? And, you know, personal trainers are always me measuring your body fat percentage because it's a really good indicator of how healthy you are and how fit you are. Okay, so we've got this problem going on and this poor person is like, well, well, I better go on this diet again. Lo and behold, off they go, down to 150 and back up to 200 again. And the same thing goes on. You know, they're going to lose fat, lose a lot of muscle, gain a lot of fat, gain a bit of muscle, right? It's easy to gain fat. It's really hard to lose it. And it's hard to gain muscle and really easy to lose it. So you can see how these things complement each other. So here we have this person over here. If you look at these metabolisms, every time they go through this yo-yo diet, these metabolisms are going to be worse. So A is going to be bigger or, or uh, more efficient than B, and B is going to be more efficient than C. So they're making themselves more unhealthy going on these starvation diets. Um, another thing is, um, let's look at it a different way. Over here, let's say that, that, that at metabolism A, this person was eating 1,700 daily calories and that was uh, maintaining their weight. They stayed at, you know, they stayed at, uh, um, 200 pounds eating 1700 daily calories when they came back up here they were like oh you know they started eating as normal and they started eating 1700 calories again but their metabolism just couldn't use all that 1700 calories in fact it was only using 1200 calories so where do you think this 500 went well it went down to fat. Okay, it has to go somewhere, right? So we've got a problem. Um, you can't eat as much when your metabolism gets worse. I remember when I first uh, joined a gym at 60, um, and yeah, I was a starvation dieter, right? <laughs> Clinically obese. And my trainer said, you know, Bev, you're not eating enough to lose uh, fat. And I was like, wow, what the heck kind of a concept is that? But he looked pretty sexy. So I thought, well, he must know what he's talking about. So pfft, I just did it and it worked. Okay, so um, the final thing I want to say about this yo-yo dieting is um, timeline. Let's say coming down here, you take six months to lose that 50 pounds and it takes you four months to gain it back, right? So it's kind of 10 months going on here. Now, you go back on the diet and oh, because your metabolism is worse, it takes you eight months to lose that 50 pounds and maybe only two months to gain it back. Now, these are not exact figures. I'm just kind of relaying generally what's happening with the body. So it, it's becoming harder and harder to lose the weight and easier and easier to gain the weight right? But you're only interested in the scale weight. You don't care how you get your weight down and you don't care what happens to your biochemical body. But it's not a good choice. You really have to eat quality foods, nutritiously dense foods, and you really should do more exercise. I mean, these are the old-fashioned ways. They take a bit of time. It took me 19 months but you know what? It took me 30 years to put on that 40 pounds. Why the hell was I going to lose it in two months? It just doesn't make any sense. So I hope this helps you understand why deprivation dieting of any type is not good for you. 
Um, what I'm going to do in the next video, ho oh, ho, oh, and people are going to hate me, uh, I'm going to talk about the keto diet and why I don't like it and why I would never go on it. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Look out for it. And uh, you want to unfollow me because you're a real keto person? I don't care. Okay, bye. Oh, I can never turn this thing off. All right, let's give it another whirl. <laughs> ah, I'll use...